Hey guys, welcome back to Anu Jit Back Compose video, which is about everything you need to know about images. From loading local images, to remote images, icons, handling states, like if your image didn't load, or if your image is still loading, what you want to display instead of it. So we'll see all of that and we'll cover all of that in this video. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Underwood Studio. And the first thing we'll see is just if we want to load a local image that we have in our project. So as you can see, if I go to my drawable, I have this image. Here it is, and I want to display it. For that, it's really easy. I'm just going to use an image composable, and I want painter, or also I can use bitmap if I have a bitmap, and we'll see what image vector as well in a moment. Now let's start with painter, which is the one that we'll use the most. Okay, for that we'll use a painter resource, and then we can actually use our image by writing R, dot drawable dot image for the content description we can either leave it null or write the description of our image and this one is for accessibility so if someone can't see fine and this content description can actually tell them what this image is about if they can see it right so we can leave it at null or we can write for example image of camera like this but please do not leave it an empty string like this leave it null or write something as you can see here is our image it's very simple we can put this image inside a box or something to give it some rounded corners. So for that, we can just write box like this and then we'll give our box a modifier dot, let's say clip rounded corner shape and then 20.dp. So we'll clip our box like that and then we'll put our image inside it. As you can see, now we have rounded corners. Or we can assign this modifier directly to our image like this and then we can get rid of the box if we want to. So it's still the same thing. Uh, in my case, I'm actually going to put them in a column so you can see all those images. So like this. And then I'm just probably going to give it some horizontal alignment, alignment.center horizontally. And then fill the max size dot fill max size like this so here is an image that we have in our project which is simple okay now what we want to see is if we want to load an image that is not in our project so uh, an online image you can say for that we need a dependency or a library so we'll go to our gradle file and they have pasted this one it's called quail which is exactly responsible of loading images just like Glide from XML, if you came from XML, this is the alternative to that So in Compose. So we use Quail to load images. And I also pasted this one, which is extended icons that gives us more icons that we can use in our project. So we don't have to actually go here and then write new uh, vector assets and then import an icon. No, with this library, we can use all the icons that we want, which is this one. There are already icons, but this one gives us more icons that we can use. Just paste these if you want now to load a, an online image and to get more icons in your project and then sync. Okay, now for our online image, first win the URL that you want to load it from. For that, I'm just going to paste it. And here is the URL. So it's just a .gpg image, nothing special. And to display it, let me first put a little spacer to separate this one from the previous one height and then I'm going to go for 50.dp I'm going to use an assign image which is this one this image needs a module and a content description and the content description is clear can be null or the, what the description of our image is and then the model and this model will be responsible of loading this image and of course this uh, assign image is coming from the quail library that we pasted here Okay, because that's the one that is responsible of loading remote images. And the model now is going to be an image request dot builder. And we need to pass the context to this builder. And to get context in Compose, we can write local context dot current and then dot data. The data now is our URL. So image URL and then the size. So the size is going to be size dot original like this and then dot build. Now, as you can see, we get an online image from this URL and it's very simple. We can apply also some padding, not padding, I'm sorry, but clip its corners like this. So it looks great. As you can see, we get it from this URL with quail and this is the model. 
And right now we don't really know when our image is loading. So if we, for example, if I put a wrong URL, then I just don't display an image. There's nothing that tells me there is no image. Or for example, if the image is still loading, there's nothing that tells me that. For that, I'm going to load this image in a different way. I'm not going to use an async image. Okay, and how do we do that? First of all, we still need this model. So instead of writing it twice, I'm just going to extract it from here and then create a variable for it. So var model is this one and then pass it right here. So model like this. So I can reuse it because this is always how I'm going to load my image. Okay, now to know if my image is loading or, it, or it's not loaded or it's loaded, I need a state of my image. And to get that state, I need to create it by writing var, for example, image state is going to be remember assign image painter and then pass in my model, which is exactly that one we've created. So model like this dot state. Now I get the state with this state. I can get my image. I can tell if it's still loading. I can tell if it didn't load or anything with just with this state. And now I need to check my state. So if image state is assigned image painter dot state dot, for example, success. Now I can actually show my image. Now like this, I know that my image is loaded when I have a success and I can just copy this one two more times. So when it is loading and when I have an error. Okay, so when I have an image, I can simply show it by writing image and I'm going to use again painter and to get that painter, I can use my image state. So image state dot painter to display it. content description can be null. And as you can see, I have my image. I can always give it some rounded corners like this. And then let me just put a spacer between them. So this one like this to separate the, those two images. So when I have an image, I can just show it using my painter to get my state to get the painter. I can always use my state to get the result dot drawable. Now I have my drawable dot to bitmap dot as bitmap. Now I can get a bitmap if I want that. In my case, I only want a painter like this. And now when my image is still loading, I can show a circular progress indicator that of course can also take a modifier and it just give it some size dot size, let's say 100 dot DP like that and then I can give it a color so we can say for example color is equal to material theme dot color scheme dot primary so uh, if my image is still loading when an error happens so if I don't have an image then I can show an icon that tells me there is no image icon and now I want image vector and then my image vector is going to be icons dot and here I can get several types of icons like rounded default outlined filled anything for me, I personally love using rounded ones. So dot, for example, image not supported that I don't have an image. And here I can just write no. Now we display both of them. But if I, for example, remove this one, and then I pass a wrong URL, as you can see, we saw a progress bar. And then when the image failed to load, we showed this icon right here. Okay, since we don't want that assigned image anymore, I just deleted it. What I can do now is let's actually make this better by putting everything inside a box like this modifier and that is give it some size of 300 for example dot dp let's put everything inside our box right here and then let's give it a background so dot background material team dot color scheme dot let's say secondary container let's give it some rounded corner shape let's just take it from here since we don't want it there anymore like this and then i will just make this image fill the max size and then I can use a content scale. This one is like center crop from XML, maybe that's what it's called. So you have to fill the whole size of my uh, container. Now I can align this one to the center. So dot align uh, alignment dot center. I will do the same with now the icon right here. So it looks now a lot better. And if I have an image, then I just show it. If I don't, I show something like that. If I have it, I show it. So that's how you can show images that you have locally in your device and also online images with URL. And this can also be an image that you have in your device and you get URE to it. So this is exactly how you can load it as well. We can also actually something we can also write this in a different way. So just a quick thing. So we can write when image state 
and then we can use uh, Android Studio to give us the remaining branches. So when it's loading, success, empty, error. Uh, these two are actually the same thing. So when an error and uh, empty, that's the same thing. So for that, I can use an else like this. And then I can just do this with these two. And now I can just take that same code from here and put it right here. Take the circular progress bar, put it when, okay, this one actually has to be right here. And then when an error happens, I can take this one and put it here. It's just a matter of how you like to do that. So it's going to be the same. Now let's run the app and see that. As you can see, I have an image. If I put a wrong URL, that's how it looks like. And yes, this is it for this video. We saw how to load images. So see you in the next video and bye.